All right, let's get into it. All right. Alan, this is your review of the first three episodes of Echo, which you have seen. This yes. is, uh, there are five total episodes. Mm -hmm. So originally the series was intended to be eight episodes. They cut it down from eight to five. Uh, this project has been riddled with reshoots, rescheduling, and in an unprecedented move, Marvel is dropping all five episodes on Disney Plus today. Alan, you've seen the yes. first three episodes. What is the story? Tell us about the character of Echo. Yes. And I'm told the character of Echo is much better in the comics than in the series itself. Yeah. Not sure. So, so tell us your full on review of the first three episodes. Okay. So uh, Echo kind of picks up on the back end of Hawkeye where uh, Echo in there was kind of uh, the best soldier of the Kingpin at the time. Uh, but a long time ago, uh, her family got caught up with the Kingpin, uh, kind of double-crossed him. And uh, as a result, uh, Kingpin's mother, while while Maya was in the car, uh, he cut her brakes. Uh, she died in an accident. Uh, Maya lost her leg. Uh, and... Uh, and as she was trying to deal with uh, with the the pain of the, of the loss of her mother, uh, we move up to the future where similar things are going on, and her father dies at the hands of the of the kingpin. Uh, uh, kingpin kind of takes a liking to her, makes her her mentor, uh, his mentor, and uh, she becomes this powerful warrior. Um, and then uh, after the death of uh, after the death of the father, which happened later, uh, she she uh, basically shoots the kingpin in the eye in the in the head uh now that the kingpin is dead she runs off hides goes back home to face her family and uh, her family a are not happy to see her there and b she is not uh, exactly feel like she's welcome back and so she kind of has to hide uh, but at the same time kind of reconnect with her fr family and one of her best friends in fact uh when she arrives in town everyone tells her Hey, you better tell your best friend, I forget her name, that you're in town or she's going to be heartbroken. But she doesn't do it. And guess what happens later in the series? I won't spoil it for you. But uh, something happens where, okay. I won't okay, no, no, no. Okay, can you tell us? Because I don't know that. Yeah, she, okay, uh, she finds out she's there. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so now that uh, Maya has taken out the kingpin, she now wants to take out the kingpin's operation in, in her uh, her town, and um, and so she decides to uh, get her best friend Biscuits uh, to help her steal a train car, in order to uh, load it with explosives and blow up one of uh, kingpin's factories, and um, and so. Now Maya is caught in this struggle between is she good, is she bad? And, and what about her family? The family that she left but still loves her. Can she reconnect with them? Uh well, you're gonna have to watch the series to find out. Uh okay. Yeah. Um, I I, and is, I okay. And so this is why I say this show is written by hacks, created by hacks. Uh, and uh, and they slap the Marvel label on it. It's it's not that interesting of a story. Um, she the, the every episode opens with kind of a, kind of a, a glimpse into her ancestral roots, the matriarch of the Choctaw Nation, who is able to protect her family, uh, who has certain powers that helps helps her. Uh, be, the the best way I can describe it is be lucky in certain situations. If this were a faith-based film, it's basically, uh, we're in a tough situation. Let's pray about it and see what God wants to do. That's pretty much how she gets out of situations here. Um, you know, we, we learn about the Choctaw cultural, but, but it makes me wonder, do we really? Because this is a Marvel version of the Choctaw nation right. history. So what, what is, what is real lore and what is not? Um, Gosh, uh, you know, again, I, I'm comparing it to Shang-Chi because at least Shang-Chi was a, a a big world building there, uh, a, a developed story, whether you liked it or not. Here, it's just, it's basically what I said about Fresh Off the Boat. It's, it's, it feels like an American story, but uh, with a, with a Native American overlay placed upon it. Um, and so I, I just can't imagine 
uh, the Native American community really taking to this show and saying, hey, this is the best representation of our people in a long time. Or, hey, if you want to learn about our culture, watch Echo, because I just can't see that happening. Um, it's uh, it's it's derivative. It's boring. Uh, and and sadly, the, the cultural stuff is not interesting. And uh, and there and, and we've got already gone through it. There's so many uh, logic errors in it. There's this idea of cognitive dissonance. When you watch it, you're just going to feel that things are wrong and things are off. These fight scenes just feel wrong. They feel off. And you're going to struggle to figure out why. And it's because it just doesn't feel authentic. And and you're going to know it when you watch it. Well, you've seen more than half the series. You did mm -hmm. not see the last two episodes. Any speculation as to where the story's going and and what the sort of main conflict is? And does she wear mm -hmm. a costume at all? Does she have an Echo costume? Well, she um, so while while uh, Scully, the grandfather type character, uh, was rebuilding her her prosthetic foot, uh, he was able to uh, give her uh, a a Choctaw symbol to place upon that foot. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. Um, I I'm curious your thoughts since you've seen more than half the series. Do you think we're even going to be talking about this in a week? No, because I can't imagine the the last two episodes being of anything of note. Um, you know, like when she kills Kingpin. You know, I mean, it's sad that they she killed him in the first episode. Right. Yes. <laughs> Another... I mean, like I said, it's not even written by comic book people because it's not structured like a comic book. You know, the, the powers is not anything you would read in a comic book. Um, you know, it, it's the, the storyline is, uh, you know, it's it's basically a, uh, you know, gang warfare type storyline. Well, you I mean, know, a, mob, a mob storyline. It's kind of like what you said in your Twitter meltdown. Check out the other video of the Twitter meltdown, which will or go to my pal Al on Twitter. Or just go to the video that's going to be on the Film <laughs> yeah. Threat YouTube channel. And, and, and play through the commercials. Play through all the commercials. Make sure to watch all of them. Um, no, it's like you were saying um, that if this is going to be a hero that checks all these boxes, um, that uh, the chalked up people deserve better. How's the how's how is the represent like how do they represent her? She's she's deaf and and uses sign language, mm -hmm. so they just use subtitles through the whole thing. Yeah, they do. And but but again, Kingpin has a uh, ASL interpreter. Uh, with him at all times, and so, so he doesn't know ASL. He doesn't know ASL. Unfortunately, the interpreter does. Uh, duh, um, and she speaks. Uh, you know, so you hear, you see Maya sign, and then you hear the interpreter speak for her, which so which, is, which just seems odd. So uh, it's woke kingpin, basically. Yeah, but I, but if if I were to look carefully, I'm pretty sure like all the papers on kingpin's death uh, desk. Uh, half of them hey, are. What did you, what'd you say? No, yeah, the, back the up a papers, second. What'd you say? The papers on Kingpin's de desk uh, are written in half of them are written in Braille for, for his blind, uh, his visually impaired henchmen. I think you slipped up a bit when you I, said, I, I, desk. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, Glenn, please clip that. Glenn. <laughs> You're watching your listening. Yeah, I'm sure it'll make gripping, gripping videos to play over and over again. Oh, I'm we're <laughs> definitely playing it. Um, it'll be a YouTube short. So at the end of the day, if you had to rate it based on what you've seen on a scale of one to 10, what do you rate echo? Uh, better than Kenobi, which is what a three, oh, yeah, probably a three, three out of 10. Yeah. I, it, it's, I mean, honestly, me watching this is it, it, it just makes me feel like they should have been, they should, they should have been better. This should have been better. And then if you're going to go through the trouble of telling an indigenous story, telling a story of a, of a hero with a disability that they would have done it a whole lot better than they did. And, and I just don't think these writers know how to write uh, good television, uh, good superhero films, because you, you get the sense that the great comic book writers of, uh, of our childhood would have told a story much better than, the, than it did. Another question is the actress who plays, do they call her echo in the show? 
No, that's Maya. Maya. I don't okay. think she's ever referred to as Echo. Um, does the actress in real life have one leg? I believe so. Because that's an awful lot of CG to do if she doesn't. Uh, can you confirm that fact? Let's confirm. Yeah. I'll confirm it. I'll confirm it. Um, and look here. Yeah. How do you spell her name again? Her name is Alakwa Cox. Alakwa Cox. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, you know, this, it's just this trend that Disney has in all its properties of underachieving. And horribly underachieving. And and when we get into the D files, uh, you know, we're gonna get we're gonna go pretty deep in how this happened and why the creative teams uh that are running everything Disney uh are incompetent. And well, uh you know, and you know, sadly DEI has a lot to do with it. Alakwa Cox is actually deaf in real life. She was born yes. deaf. She attended uh the Wisconsin School for the Deaf and knows sign language. Yeah, and there's That's another impressive. thing is is clearly uh Alakwa Cox can uh sign can sign better than everyone in the show. And so she's uh, very good at it. Well, she's it's almost like she's natural at it versus everyone else who learned it. And and there are times where you know you you watch her against other people and the, and their signing doesn't feel natural compared to hers. Uh it feels like it's <laughs> weirdly it feels like the signing is overacting. Well, this is, uh, I mean, uh, cool. it, it's kind of typecasting here, but um, uh, it says uh, Maya is deaf and an amputee with a prosthetic leg, as is actress Alakwa Cox in real life. So, so the original she, Echo, they, they just happen to find a person who fits who fit, every box. Checks all Echo. the box. Yeah, like, how else are you going to cast someone else to play this part? But yeah. she actually has a prosthetic leg in real life and is also deaf from birth. I mean, I got to say, for the actress, how was she in the series? I mean, that's fairly impressive for, for her. Yeah. I mean, it's weird because, you know, I, I wanted to I want to be really fair about it. I mean, she's OK, but at the same time, it does feel like everyone's acting around her. Right, and, right. Um, you know, because she is she is that brooding, you know, she's the one on the run. She's the one who uh, is the outcast in her family. And so she 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 is one of those what we call low energy characters you know she's you know she's clearly in the background of of life you know and uh and so it feels like everyone else is kind of uh acting around her and i don't know if that has to do with the story uh and the way her character is or if it's you know the quality of her her acting i i kind of feel it's the latter or it's the prior well i gotta give the actress credit i mean mm -hmm. she was born deaf uses American sign language. Um, I mean, she, she fits it, but I think not, not served by the story. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, the big thing is she, for someone whose primary skill is martial arts, um, I didn't see anything ex exceptional about what she did. And so Alan, do you recommend echo? on no, Disney Plus? No. No, and I, I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Yeah. And and I don't think it was a surprise to Disney either. <laughs>